Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 30th, 2020, the last trading day of the second quarter. Yesterday, we had a monster little rally, but did it really change anything? Um, let's take a look at the technicals here in just a bit. So how about we buckle up, settle into our office chair, and prepare for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, as we're approaching a holiday three-day weekend, we had the market rally very strongly yesterday. But there's some interesting clues out there that may suggest that this rally was really not much more than a short covering rally. There was some good signs in a couple of stocks, Apple, um, Boeing rallying on their um, uh, test flights, trying to recertify the 737 MAX aircraft. Um, and then Apple rising pretty solidly yesterday gave some, you know, sporadic hope out there that there was a rebound underway. But at the end of the day, here's what we have. We have a chart that if we look across here, kind of questionable, depending on how you draw that. I would draw that with these connections pretty close in here, here and here that puts us still in a situation where we've broken our trend and a downtrend continuing in play here on the chart. Now, on the positive side, we have a possible hold of price support right in here. And if we can get a follow through to that, can we get enough energy to push through um, that resistance. That's going to be the question. And even if we do push through that, let's take a look at our um, indicators here and notice that on the Dow, even if we can push back up through here, let's note that we still have to deal with the 500 day moving average and our failure up here of the 200 day average uh, three times. So kind of keep that in mind. We've got a lot to think about here when it comes to the Dow, whether or not we're gonna be able to push on through. So keep a close eye on that. And this morning we're looking at futures seemingly struggling just a little bit. We have just gone um, in the last few moments, we have been kind of flat to negative. We have just gone just ever so slightly positive here in the Dow futures. So they're trying this morning, but they seem to be struggling with the inspiration to move on higher. Now, yesterday's rally was also largely fueled on the hope with the... Uh, with coronavirus rising, and by the way, yesterday over 44,000 cases were reported, the hope that the federal government is going to step in with another big stimulus package. And of course, the market just loves freshly printed money. And so that gave some of the inspiration yesterday to try and rally. So let's watch this closely this morning. We've been struggling between flat and positive, flat and positive um, on these earning or on um, this the futures this morning trying to get some kind of a rally so anything is possible last day of the quarter could be some window dressing anything is possible here today expect volatility to remain high let's take a look at um our our SPY. Now, SPY has a little bit more of a bullish case in that we have held the 50-day moving average, and yesterday we rallied back above that 200-day moving average, and we left behind what's called a piercing pattern, where we break that big down day by more than 50%. Unfortunately, we were not able to break the downtrend, the overall downtrend. We couldn't even get back above the 8 exponential moving average, which we call the the T line or the trigger line. And you can see um, really um, hopefulness is there, but I got to tell you, it wasn't all that impressive overall um, in that in that rally yesterday. Um, some inspiration in here, of course, 
whether or not they can follow through. That's what's going to be critical. And we did hold on to this price support. So that is bullish. We are wedging in this trade. We need to make that decision. Are we going to break out and hold and go higher? Or are we going to break down and continue this slide south? So a little bit of both could be possible here in the chart. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ rallying up yesterday, also putting in a piercing type pattern. And I got to tell you, the cues have just been strong, strong, strong. There's nothing here in the cues that suggests bearishness yet. If they can continue to push around those big five stocks, but some of those big five stocks have run into some major problems here in the market. So we're going to want to watch this pretty closely. And remember, we kind of have. Um, some trouble up here with the shooting star tops. We may be running out a little bit of energy here in that chart. So let's keep a close eye on it. Piercing pattern is bullish. The trend is bullish, but there is a little bit of reason to have a little some caution here. And then IWM remarkably did better than um, uh, the Dow and the SPY in breaking the um, sell-off day on Friday breaking back through there but we unfortunately still have this downtrend in play here on the chart and if we look at our moving averages we're still well below the 200 day and well below the 500 day moving average in the chart so some warm and fuzzy but also some caution signals out there in the market let's take a look at the VIX the VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday, but let's notice that that candle and that pullback wasn't super, super inspiring. In fact, it's more of an inside day, um, just suggesting more chop is coming into this. Notice we've got the 34 EMA crossing up through the 50 EMA, which is providing a little bit more. Whoops. I got the wrong chart, guys. There we go. There we go. I'm sorry. So we ended up with a better situation here yesterday on the VIX than was shown in that last chart, where we end up with a bearish engulfing candle here in the chart. But we still have that 34 EMA crossing up through the 50, and we have a 20 day moving up to create a little bit of price support um, in this chart. Whether or not those bulls can actually follow through and push this on down, that's going to be the question. And as I've said, for a long long time the first wave of selling really isn't the one that creates the real damage in the market it would be any follow-through um, beyond that after that pullback that would be a problem if we can hold support and hold the downtrend that's where the real problem would come in so far still a big question mark as to whether or not that's going to occur if we're going to see that fear spike or if those bulls are going to find a way to push right on through. So keep a close eye on that. And then let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. T2122 doesn't give us directional information. It does tell us when we have kind of overstretched our selling or overstretched our buying. And you can see we had overstretched our selling. We were down here in that bullish reversal zone creating that little bit of a rally. And we rally back up here to about midway in the chart. So this tells us that we have the potential to really go either direction here in the chart. No particular direction um, to be had here in the um, in T2122, just that we're kind of into mid range. So we wanna watch closely. We wanna keep our eyes peeled for that possibility that we could move on up or that possibility that those bears will come in and attack and move us on back down. So watch that careful. Let's take a look at T2101, which is the absolute breadth index. And this is one of those kind of concerns that I saw in the market yesterday. And that is that while we were rallying, notice that the absolute breadth in index was moving lower. That would suggest that a big portion of the rally yesterday was nothing more than short covering, um, protecting their their profits in their short trades or 
or knocking um, off those losses in that rally back up. There really wasn't an awful lot of buying going on in the market yesterday, so that could create a little bit of a concern as well. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar um, has a few interesting things to be paying attention to this morning if we take a look at whoops darn it keep picking up that other window here if we take a look at the calendar we have several things on here to pay attention to first we have a virtual parade of fed speakers today we've got one two three four including the big guy labeled in red right there um jerome powell will be speaking today um I don't know that we're going to learn anything new, but we'll want to certainly pay attention to that. We have um, S&P Core Logic and we have Chicago PMI. According to the estimates, consensus estimates, those should come in pretty good. And then the probably the big one of the day would be the consumer confidence number. And uh, consensus estimates are suggesting that comes in really strong as well. So we could get some inspiration from those numbers as they start to come out this morning. So let's watch that close a lot of the rally yesterday was in hope um hope of more stimulus um whether we can get some confirmation from the government or confirmation from the fomc that they're going to add more to the stimulus numbers that's still in question but we'll want to watch that pretty carefully today and just realize that three of the four indexes are still locked into this short term downtrend in the market so with that, everyone, how about we take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. And on our earnings calendar, we got 15 companies as all reporting earnings today and really not that many that are very notable. But let's take a look at those. We have FDX, FedEx reporting this morning, and it looks like at the moment it's indicating just slightly higher here just slightly higher so maybe they've reported a good earnings report and ayi um, will be reporting today this one is kind of questionable whether this is really a particularly notable stock or not but you can see bid ask spread here is really really wide we don't have a report on that this has been in a current downtrend uh con agra is also reporting this morning looks like they reported very very strongly here this morning gapping up breaking through some resistance highs in the chart and popping themselves right into an additional resistance over here. So kind of an interesting chart, breaking a recent resistance, running into a longer term resistance here in that chart. Let's keep an eye on ConAgra today. Um, see whether it can follow through to the upside and SCS another one that I'm just not sure really belongs in a notable report but we're waiting on this you can see a nice little pullback to hold the 50 we had some bullishness yesterday in anticipation of earnings and you can see a pretty wide bid ask spread as we wait for steel case to report today so with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, stocks that we might want to consider for potential trades. But before we do that, guys, if you could help me out, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, if you feel the video is worthy, and what I mean by worthy, guys, what you're going to find in the videos that I put out, I try to avoid all the emotion, all of the hype, and all of the directional predictions that you might see other places, and really try to focus in on what the indicators, what price action, what the technicals are showing me in the chart. And right now, um, that means that we kind of have this uncertainty going on in this chart. But if you find that kind of information to be helpful and useful on how you approach the market for the day, if you could do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment, I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, I apologize I didn't get to those, um, didn't get a chance to answer those comments yesterday, but um, my commitment is that I will be answering those today. So if you have any ideas or suggestions for the video, please feel free to include that in those comments. Let's take a look at some stuff Stocks that could be setting up and remember guys that every time I post a stock in these um, 
videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and decide whether or not this is a trade for you. Now, I've been keeping an eye here on Cisco. Cisco had a good earnings report. And you can see I've got a little bit of an uptrend going on here. And what we did the other day is we broke that little downtrend. Yesterday was a nice little resting day here in Cisco. So popping up, if that continues to rest or consolidate in here, I want to be watching this for that next opportunity for this to pop up out of here. If that can continue to move, that may be an interesting uh, potential trade for me. And I want to show you that I've actually placed a price alert on that chart looking for that to potentially move on higher. So keep that one in mind. Something that could uh, move on up here and challenge these resistance highs. Let's take a look at Grubhub now. Now, Grubhub continuing to press, and you can see we've had several days of rest here, a nice little four-day rest, and we're trying to push higher here. This morning, it looks like Grubhub is indicated just slightly lower, and I've been running uh, this is an, uh, this entire line I've alerted on, and I'm just waiting to see if Grubhub can actually pop through there. Obviously, this has been a really, really strong run, so I may want to wait for that proof that we can break out and hold for that opportunity to enter that trade but one that you might want to put on your list and keep an eye on Oracle is another um, I alerted on and have been watching this one pretty closely Oracle breaking its downtrend and you can see rallying up on a strong earnings report. And then we got this little resting pullback. We came back into this little price support right in here and we're trying to find that bullishness. Looks like we have an opportunity uh, for this to follow through just a little bit today. Might be worth keeping an eye on and we may wanna consider that this might be just a resumption of this trend right in here so keep an eye on oracle good possibilities could come in a chart like that i also want to make sure and mention again i i am holding gld this that makes me somewhat biased on this trade but gold holding up yesterday while the market rallied which is kind of an interesting thing to see gold actually trying to move a little bit higher as the market moves up that shows me that there is some fear still here in the market looks like gold is going to open just slightly lower this morning but it's holding up in here and i am continuing to hold this trade watching for that opportunity for this to just continue this leg on higher so watch that carefully if gold starts getting some inspiration um, in the chart take a look at irobot iRobot, very nice um, consolidation here. Now this guy has had an amazing run in the market. And as you can see, we're up here testing some resistance in this chart. The question becomes whether or not we can actually break through, push right on up through that resistance. But we wanna watch this closely because you, as you can see, the bulls are not giving up. They are holding in here nice and strong. And what I would suggest is right through here, there are no sellers below that level, at least at the moment. So watch that carefully and that possibility that we could pick up this older trend right in here and continue to move on higher. So keep an eye on iRobot, looking pretty good overall. Take a look at XLK. If the techs are gonna to continue to push, XLK has a good pattern here. You can see I've made uh, this whole area an alert. If we can break back above that breakout high right here, popping back through there, if we can pop out, there may be an opportunity here in XLK to move on higher if we can get those uh, tech sector stocks moving in the right direction. Let's take a quick look at Apple. Apple, one of the better stocks yesterday in the overall market. Nice little bullish piercing candle here on the chart, holding its um, pretty steep trend actually, but holding it up well. And if I move a uh, little support area right up in here, we caught support right off of this area looking really really good in this chart as a matter of fact we caught off the top side of that so holding up really really well in this chart looking good and strong Apple 
um, looking good may follow through to the upside um, watch that one close could be a pretty decent trade and with that in mind AVGO Broadcom uh, one of their big suppliers Apple's big suppliers is also trying to hang in here it has a little tiny bit of this flavor of a downtrend we've had these two lower highs but notice we're holding on to this longer turn up uptrend if we can actually find that bullishness and pop on through up into here we could run up here and test these all-time highs in the chart so watch that carefully so everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day i hope you got something out of this video today thank you so much for watching and if you have um any kind of threat in your area of that coronavirus where you're in some of those hot spot spots please 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 everyone be safe protect yourself and your family this is nothing to mess with the who um, issued a warning last night that the worst of this is yet to come so please keep that in mind and keep yourself safe everyone i will see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.